um, the more about it Monday, I start, <laughs> I know it's great. I started, I wanted to do start doing the more about it Monday where I tell you more about our products and more about stamping and this awesome hobby that we all love or starting to love if you're a newbie. And sometimes the basics, I, I, I forget that uh, people that are new to stamping, they, we have a language all of our own and they might not uh, understand some of the things we say. So I'm going to do this more about it Mondays to kind of help them get up to speed. And then I post it on my website, www.carolbcrafts.com under uh, more about it Monday, the tab at the top. And then you'll be able to see all of the more about it Monday videos that I've done. I think I've done like three now. So, and then I also posted on face on YouTube. Once I'm done with my Facebook, I uh, probably edit it a little bit <laughs> and then I post it on YouTube for those that don't have a Facebook account. Okay. So, uh, stamps is pretty basic. We have two types of stamps. We have photopolymer. This was what we use for our February class or our Valentine's day class. Um, and you can see the ink will stain it, but that's fine because it doesn't affect the use and it actually kind of makes it pretty, especially if it's pink. Uh, now these stamps, um, will, I'm going to do a separate one next week on cleaning your stamps. So I'm not going to get into that today on cleaning our stamps. Um, even though I'm really tempted to do that. Um, but so photopolymer stamps are very sticky and I like the smell of them. They smell, I, I like the smell of photopolymer and true photopolymer stamps, uh, have that, that smell that I like. Um, okay. So, um, you can go to your local craft store and you can see what looks like the same thing. It's clear, they're clear stamps and they are acrylic stamps. They're not photopolymer. And that's why that they're so much cheaper is because they're not really photopolymer stamps. So, and you will not like them nearly as well. The, because these are so sticky, the ink sticks to the stamp. Acrylics are not as sticky. So you won't be as happy with them. Um, I start when I started stamping. I bought some acrylics from uh, local stores. Used my coupon. Thought I was doing great, and then I started stamping with them, and I was really frustrated because the I wasn't getting good images. And um, I thought at first it was just because I was a new stamper, but then when I learned about photopolymer stamps and the difference, and I used photopolymer, it was like night and day. So. Um, I would definitely say only purchase photopolymer clear stamps like this. Um, stay away from the cheaper uh, wannabes, the acrylics, because you will not be happy with them. And you can always sniff them to tell. If you can smell that photopolymer smell that gets us crafters high, <laughs> not literally, but you know, figuratively, creative high. Um, so this is our photopolymer stamp sets. So when we're done, Maria, you might want to go back and re uh, watch the first part, but I really have just gotten started. So the photopolymer, you definitely want those acrylic. No. Uh, and then next week I'll show you how to clean these stamps. Now springtime joy was our Easter class and you'll notice those stamps are a little different. These are rubber stamps and they come, um, with little, with these, the, um, you, you can tell where your stamps go because it's printed on the, the plastic. This one, um, you can tell where your stamps go because there's like a little home for them in here. That's what I, I keep this part here. And so let's talk about what do you do? If, if you have these stickers now I don't I don't put my stickers on but you can put your stickers on it's really preference 
but you can see I've taken all my stickers off and then when I'm done with them I put my stickers back on <laughs> uh, but anyhow it's up to you but today I'm going to show you what to do with your rubber stamps uh, so since I've gotten all my stickers off I'm just going to pull these out but we're going to talk about how to put our stickers on so uh, and I found I saw a trick on um, a new way it's not a trick really but it's a new way so if you want you can pull this off and this is going to be sticky and it's going to stick to your plastic um, it's not sticky sticky as in is permanent it's sticky sticky as it'll stick to plastic but you can always pull it up if you want to you change your mind so that way that's always there for you and then that way you can tell if you have all your stamps because you can put your stamps back in place and that that will stick in place but we're going to talk about what if you want to put the stickers on now this is this is uh, what I learned there's when you get your sticker there's a stick a part that goes it's very very sticky permanent that goes to the back of your stamp and then there's a side that is uh, kind of removable sticky that goes to that sticks to your where is it your acrylic block so the permanent sticky side goes on the rubber part of your stamp this not the rubber part but this foam part I have to be careful what I say I don't want so if you figure out um, there's one side where you can actually this is my little lamb so I'm going to put my block here and I'm going to go all the way under you can see that it it, it kind of um, you can kind of bend that that's this is the sticky 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 side that's not the side you want right now you want to bend all the way back this is the semi sticky side and and when we're done it's going to be like that so the semi sticky side you're going to put here and then the sticky sticky side you may have to get your pointy tool or scissors or something to get that up now this is different from the way Stampin' Up uh, suggested that we do this, but I think if they had figured this out, they would have suggested this way first. <laughs> but somewhere along the line, somebody figured this out. So now I can see through my my block, my my little decals on this side, and I'm looking through, and al along the edge the edge of your decal is going to fit perfectly the edge of your stamp and what you're going to do is you're going to center you're going to use the edge of your sticker and the edge of your stamp to line it up not the image but the edge of the sticker and when you do that and I'm probably going to have to stick my head in here guys if I want to do this right <laughs> if I want to do it in camera so I'm going to stick my head in here. Take your time. No rush. And there we go. I pushed it all the way down. Now it's on there. And you can see that that stamp is very sticky. This is very sticky and it will stay sticky as long as you keep it clean and wash it just with water. You don't want to wash it with anything but water. No cleaners or anything on this. Just water, if you have to clean it at all. Okay, and when you dry it, be careful not to dry it. Just kind of like let it air dry because you don't want to get any fuzz on it either. So now it's ready to stamp. So now I can pick it up and I can get a piece of paper. I just happen to have that hanging around and do I have some ink hanging around yeah I do I got my 
memento. And then you can dab this little baby up like this. And, and then of course you want to use foam when you work. Well, no, this is not, this isn't photopolymer, so we're good then. I, for a moment it got me off guard. I thought, oh, I need foam. But the foam is actually in the stamp, so you don't need foam because you have foam right here in your stamp. And that's why with photopolymer, we use the foam mat when we um, do our stamping. I use the foam mat from the Stamparatus. And uh, so yeah, so since we're talking about that, I will clean my stamp later. <laughs> um, with your Stamparatus, because the, um, the, the rubber stamps already have foam, you don't need the foam mat in your Stamparatus. You just use just the basic bottom that I have this on it, but you can see underneath here, <laughs> there's no foam because the foam is in your red rubber stamps. If I'm using photopolymer, these awesome, good smelling photopolymer, guess what? They don't have foam. So that's why when we use our Stamparatus, we put our foam in place and that gives our stamp the foam that the photopolymers do not have. Just in case you didn't know that. And if you're using this, uh, photopolymer and you're not using the Stamparatus and you're using your this is so 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 sticky <laughs> which is good um, then then you're going to want to stamp you will put your photopolymer stamp on here and then here's your foam I like to use the black side <clears throat> Sorry, my allergies are just kicking up like crazy today. I like to use the black side because um, it gives it gives me a better image than if I don't use the foam. So if you're using this and not your Stamparatus, then you're just going to want to stamp on that, on your foam, and that's where you get your cushion. Okay, so I hope I'm not confusing anybody <laughs> it's a lot I know it's a lot but not to worry it comes eventually so I will put this back in here and I'm going to be talking about cleaning stamps hi Pat glad glad you made it you might have to look rewatch the front the front part <laughs> in case you missed something Okay, so we have our, our, um, our photopolymer, and then once you get all your stickers on your, you know, doing it the way I showed you, and um, I'll clean that guy off later, then you can put your, um, all of your stamps where they belong, and you'll, that way you'll know if you're missing one. And I do every once in a while, I will be missing a stamp and I'll be wondering where it is. And photopolymer ones are the hardest ones to find if you miss, misplace them because they're clear and they like to stick to everything. So if you're missing a photopolymer stamp, it's probably stuck to something. I've had it stick to this case. I've had it stick to my stamp and seal. <laughs> Anything that will, it'll stick to. You'll just have to go on a hunt and hunt it down um, because you don't want to lose one of your photopolymer stamps for sure. Okay, I'm getting ink on me. I'm, I'm going to clean that up. <laughs> Even though I talked about cleaning next week, I am still going to clean that off because. And I did find some wipes that I like that I'll tell you about next week too. 
that don't leave fuzz because wipes like to leave fuzz but these are the honest honest wipes the best ones i found so far honest brand they're 99 percent water you can use them on your photopolymer or your rubber either way okay so this is cool this is great you say i like it um um, I'm going to try that now and put all my, <laughs> you can have fun putting all of your um, stickers on your stamps. Big question though is um, <clears throat> what if you have a solid stamp like this, Butterfly Brilliance, which will be our next class. This is all one stamp and the sticker is all one sticker. So how would you do that? Well, we're going to do it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> some people have cut their uh, butterflies up into separate butterflies. You can do that, but if, if you're going to do that, I suggest you first put your sticker on if you do want sticker. Now, you probably don't have this big F block. <laughs> I honestly... Uh, I don't think I've ever, I might have used it once. I got it because, you know, I was new to stamping and I wanted everything, so I got all the blocks. But with your Stamparatus, um, you don't need the big block to use this stamp. Uh, you can, uh, it will go here and you can stamp. But if you want something, uh, so I just, I just pulled this up. This pulls up just like this. Now we have our plastic for our our. Um, we can use now. I'm I'm leaving. Should I leave those in? I don't know. Let's put our let's put our sticker on. Okay before we do anything else. I don't wanna get any confusion. So here's our one, our sticker, and it's all one piece. Now remember, we, we have the two sides. We have the permanent, which is, look out, you don't wanna mess with that yet, and then we have the semi-permanent, which is underneath, right here. The permanent one is, you can tell, this is the permanent because it's got the little line there. The one underneath that is the semi sticky. And that's what we want. We want the semi sticky. Be careful. And we're going to put it on our stamparatus thing. And so eventually what we're going to do is when we pull that backing off of that really, really sticky part, we can line this up and we can put it down on our, our um, stamp. Okay, so let's go for it. <laughs> Ready? Scary, scary. You only get one chance with this. If you mess it up, guess what? You've done messed it up. But you can still stamp with it. You know that I use the plastic to center my stamps. That's be I don't put I don't normally put the stickers on mine, so because I use the plastic to line them up. But the stickers, because this will stick to your your uh, blocks just fine. But if they ever get where they're not sticky. You would definitely want to put your stickers on. And, oops. <laughs> I'm going to have to be gentle about it and get that up. Come on. Remember, this is the sticky, sticky, sticky side. So don't stick it to anything but what you want it to stick to. 
Some people have kept these little pieces to do like um, dinosaurs or I don't know, they giraffes I think they talked about. So I'm only taking the top part off. That way the sticky will stay on the little pieces as well. I'm not taking the sticky part off of these little excess pieces. Okay. So you can see it likes to stick and that's what it's doing. <laughs> but that's good, right? <clears throat> okay. I'll make sure those are all pushed down nice. Don't drop this. Okay. Now again you're gonna line up not the image, but the outline, that clear outline is going to line up with the outline of your stamp. And take your time, check everything out, just kind of like when you're putting a panel on a card. And you check all the sides, top and bottom. All right, I think that's got it. Okay, I'm just really going to push that down and make sure there's no bubbles in there. Make sure it's adhered all around. Yeah, it is a little scary, Kay. And you can see it's it's so sticky. You might even think, oh, I put the wrong side on. I put I put the sticky side on the wrong side. No, it's sticky. But this isn't the sticky sticky side. This is just the sticky side that goes on your ac acrylic blocks. Because if it was the permanent sticky side, <laughs> you'd know it. All right, so, so now I have my little pieces here. I can use these if I want. I can poke those out. I'm just gonna leave them in place for now. But there's my butterflies. But these, see this easily, you just kind of poke it out. You might have to, with the rubber, you kind of have to pull because it, it is attached in, in like a couple of places it's attached. But then you can easily put it back in there like that. So yeah, don't, don't feel like you can't pull that rubber because it is, it is just stuck. Even when you um, get your rubber stamps that are new, you have to pull them to get them out of the mold there. This one is really little. Okay, so there you go. Now you know what to do with your Butterfly Brilliance stamps. And... Um, Let's see, I don't think it had anything around it, so you can put it back on your, I'm going to put mine back on there just to make sure it kind of stays sticky. It's just like a, the waxy part, just to make sure it stays sticky. And it, it'll be easier to use. Now I have had people say that they cut this, they get, they actually buy two stamps. They buy two sets of this. So they buy one set and they cut them up and then they buy another one and they leave it all one piece. That way they have both the best of both worlds. They, they don't have to feel guilty about cutting it up. <laughs> maybe, let's see, maybe I will Maybe I'll use this instead of that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put this on here. Be sure you use the waxy side though. You do not want to use the paper side. Okay. That's what I'll do. I'll use that instead. This is kind of messy. You can use either one. It's preference, whatever you want to do. Okay. Um, I think I've told you everything that I wanted to tell you. 
you now know how to put your um, big stamps, you can use this if they if you don't have a block big enough. You can always use your stamparatus. And cute little lamb. Isn't she cute? Um, they definitely look more uh, attractive with the stickers on them, don't they? And easier to identify. So maybe I'll start putting my stickers on. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, uh, I think that's it. Congratulations to Kay for winning our, um, our FYI Friday. Next Monday, I will show you um, how to clean your stamps. There's three different ways, uh, things that you can use to clean your stamps that I know of. You might know another one. There might be more. All right, so thanks for joining me for uh, my uh, what to do with new stamps and, and all about stamps. And I'll see you next Monday for how to clean these. So thanks for joining me, guys. Have a great evening. Bye.